For more detailed videos, subscribe to CiscoCoppageLLC.com. This tutorial is designed to teach you how to access transaction guides. Before we get into the lesson, there are some key points that need to be discussed. The first key point is that the end user manual can be used to print out transaction guides. This can be beneficial to create a continuity book of transaction codes needed to perform essential tasks. The second key point is that the EUM Plus can be located on the GCSS Army training site. A CAT card is needed to access the transaction guides. From the GCSS Army training site, we're going to select the end user manual or the EUM Plus by clicking on the book icon. And then we're going to come up to the right hand corner and click on the link that says search the EUM Plus. We select search global EUM Plus portal. And then in the command field, you can type in what you're looking for. So in this first example, we're going to type in hand receipts so we can bring back a list of all the transaction guides that contain hand receipts. We're going to select the first one, print a single component hand receipt using the transaction code ZPrintComp-HR. So this is the transaction code that shows you how to print a single component hand receipt. Printing a single component hand receipt can be beneficial because you get to select what's going to be displayed on that component hand receipt. For example, you can just display the component of end items and basic issue items, or you can um, display the OSI or the operational support items for the user created component listings that you created using the transaction code ZBUMADD. So we're going to scroll this down to the last page. And again, this is just how you can access the transaction code so that you can use this to create a continuity book for yourself or for someone else. So we're going to search another example. We're going to type in shortages. Press enter. And now we're looking at a list of all the transaction guides that contain the topic for shortages. So we select the transaction guide. So this is an overview on how to create a shortage annex inside of GCSS Army, as well as how to issue your shortages inside of the system as well. We keep scrolling down, as you can see, it's just an overview, step-by-step -step guide on how to conduct certain transactions inside of GCSS Army. So it's a great tool to use if you're new to GCSS Army. It can help you understand how to do step-by-step -step tasks. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful.